theorist at NYU died at the age of 46. And this is one of his books, Cruising Utopia. And I will read all of it, but one of the lines that I will read from his um, first chapter from his introduction reads, Queerness is a longing that propels us onward beyond romances of the negative and toiling in the present. Queerness is that thing that lets us feel that this world is not enough, that indeed something is missing. And let me tell you, I'm in a better place. I'm in such a better place that look at how gorgeous I look. And let me tell you, let me tell you, I am doing so well that I have started a new drag house. And the name of that drag house is the House of Jam, the House of Jose Esteban Munoz. So without further ado, let me introduce you to my first daughter. Please welcome to the front, to the stage, my oldest daughter. Yes, yes, yes. Come, 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 darling. Please welcome to the Bushwick stage. Name PGP and where you are from and what is your favorite case of memory? My name is Constance Bustier. I'm a magical unicorn and I'm from my house. And the best memory I have of Kesa is actually backstage where she actually helped me how to properly glue down and pin down my hair. And ever since then, my wigs have never came off. Look, watch. Up next, the Negra Tira Yes, yes, yes! Come, 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 darling! Name, PGP, where you are from, and what is your favorite case of memory? I am Bambi Claude, PGP, they, them. I'm from Jamaica, Queens, and, and my favorite case of memory would have to be one time when we were at the center, we were like kikiing, you know, in the lobby, and you said what you would do if you were to win, like, the $100,000 from Drag Race. When I win Drag Race. Hello. So you said that you would put it towards making a sitcom depicting the different characters and archetypes that we have at the center, and like, that kind of made me think, wow, like, she didn't think of getting, like, more drag or makeup, or in my case, like a harem of swimsuit models. Like, you really thought about your community and you put us first, so that kind of inspired me to like, and hopefully other people, and you sure have inspired other people to be pillars in your community, so thank you. Up next, she had to cross two rivers to get here, all the way from Jersey. Give it up for the gorgeous one. Yes, darling. Name PGP, where you are from, and what is your favorite case of memory? I am Maggie Call. I uh, by out of drag, my pronouns are he, him, in drag, you can call me whatever the fuck you want. Uh, I'm from the terrible, terrible state of New Jersey. Um, the memory that I was going to share was originally a really just silly moment, but five minutes ago I changed my mind. About, like, in April, I was having a really tough time. April and March, I was having a really tough time. I was a cosmetology school student, and I was about to drop out. I went to the center, I talked to Kesa, because she's the only person that I've ever been able to let me talk to, and she will talk me out of shit that I know I need to be talked out of. And this bitch stopped me from dropping out of cosmetology school, and I graduated in And look, I have her consent to share this, that's a trans man. Like, that's what the future is. A trans man doing high fan drag. Yes, and certainly not least from La Isla, Phil Encanto. Please welcome my youngest daughter. Name PGP, where you are from, and what is your favorite case of memory? My name is Anima. Oni, Hawaii, and Long. I'm originally from Puerto Rico, but now I'm based in Brooklyn. I use they, her pronouns, and my favorite memory of Lady Kesson is that when I first came to New York and into my queer community. She was there to greet me with open arms, 
and a loving, unapologetically queer Chicana greeting. I hope you're clutching your pearls and you're proud of me. 